Okay, so I ended up taking the uh, the throttle body out of the inside of the um, the air intake box, which the filter is actually. Oh, can I get it? The filters. I mean, it's a thousand miles. It's clean, man. I'll, I'll just blow out the surface dust and other, and I'll clean out the inside of the of the cover. But other than that, like that's good to go. So now I was going to show you guys. I could not figure out how to pull the accelerator cable. Got to get it out of the freaking. Uh, let's see, lights. Get it out of right up there where it goes, where that grommet's at. Um, I couldn't even figure out how to get it to like un <laughs> unget it, <laughs> unpull it out of here because it goes in here. It goes. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. It goes in just like this, and I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to get it unstuck from its little cradle housing. Turns out there's a little tiny high. What's up, buddy? What's up? What you doing? I couldn't figure out how to get it out of there, but there's that little metal clip you can see to the left. And you have to pull that clip uh, that way to your left as you're viewing it right now. Because, yeah, let me show you. It has, see if I can do this. It has a little, oh, can I get it? Am I gonna screw it up? Hold on. Can't do it right now. I just can't do it. Okay, so it's got this little tiny um, uh, like locking mechanism in there. Let me put this phone down, hold on, one second. So there's that little clip right there. If you're able to whoop, pull it back. So I didn't know that um, because when it was up here inside of the air filter box, it was in this orientation like that and I didn't, I didn't watch any videos, so I was just kind of guessing, but I couldn't get it out, so I said, screw it. I'm gonna undo the clamp that's right there, unplug the two uh, connectors right here, and take it out. And then, lo and behold, I saw that little tiny metal clip. So, now, I'm gonna put the, basically I'm gonna, there's a grommet up there, like I said, I'm going to pop that out, and I'm gonna put the new cable in. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it in from the bottom up, with the new grommet, and I'm gonna connect the new component here, and then put it all back together, and uh, see what happens. Once I do that, I'm probably, I'm not gonna bother hooking up the throttle grip, the twist grip right here, because uh, because I wanna get a new one. It's all jacked up, so I'm gonna order a new one, and then once I get that, you know, with everything else, I'll be able to, uh, to put it back together, but I can still actuate the throttle, um, even with it not, connected up here in the top, if you will, or not that piece, this piece right here. I can still go like this, rum, rum. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. And you gotta push this uh, intake boot, I know you can't see it probably, you push this boot to the side, right here, and then your cable will fall into the, breather box and there you go out with the old in with the new and since you guys really can't see it I mean I'm telling you what to do uh, yeah so now I'm gonna basically go from the inside pop the old or the new one in and try and get that grommet from inside the air cleaner just to get it out how you saw that one so Again, you can't see it that well. I mean, I'll let you watch me doing it from here, but other than that, like, let me zoom out a little bit. Um, you really can't see too much because when my hands are in the air box, I literally can't get that good of an angle. What's the point, right? So, yeah. All right, so whenever you're working with uh, cables and stuff that um, they need to, you know, let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. Oh, this is a bad one, but anyway, whatever. Um, this is not a good example because it's it's free moving. But should you have a, a setup with a cable and a grommet and it's tight, then spray some silicone on there or even some, basically a small little spray bottle with a few drops of Dawn or equivalent dish soap and some water. And that'll help you um, move rubber components back and forth so they don't bind and get stuck. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna resort to this if I need it. I'm gonna try to do it with that.
All right, so it's the next day. Uh, it's the last night. Um, you didn't see my face, my ecstatic joy that uh, the ABS light went off. Um, I had to spin the tires, the front tire, back tire. I did it by myself, so you can do it by yourself if you have it off the ground. You don't need someone else. Um, but yeah, so the ABS light went off. Uh, the, the front brake, it, it did come down a little bit last night after I had it set. Um, but ultimately what I, I think I have to do is I gotta replace the crush washers. So I'm gonna do those, I'm gonna order those bad boys as well. But what I'm gonna do now is focus on the clutch um, reservoir and see if I can swap out the gasket, the gasket from the brake, put it over here. Cause I think this one's leaking, it's got an air leak. So I'm gonna try and uh, figure out this one, fill it up, hopefully it's the same. Eh, it might be different actually, which uh yeah it's a little bit different so i don't know if it's gonna work um but what i was gonna try to do was flush this one out and see if i could get the uh the clutch to actually work and uh engage so oh this one's pretty jacked so that sucks but yeah i'm gonna try to uh Fill it up, bleed it, and see what happens. <clears throat> and this one's getting replaced, so I'm just doing this for a functional check, basically. Easy. It. I'm just putting this on because I don't want the fluid to uh, to spray everywhere. So, oh, it probably still will, but we'll see. All right, there's that. Here's this guy. It does feel better. Feels really good, actually. Might have to be, the engine might actually have to be on. So, uh, what I'll do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cap off. I got good pressure now, so I like that. I'm going to uh, cap off the fuel lines, electrical. I'm gonna just put tape around them. And I'm gonna go outside with uh, warm soap and water. I'm gonna use a mister, mist this whole thing down. And then uh, I'm going to, uh, blow it dry i'll bring it back inside and then that way i have a really clean working environment and then i think my goal is going to be to check out the air filter and see what's up with that thing uh since i have everything off i think you have to take the front cover off down here i think that's the only way you can service it so uh i'm gonna do that and check the manual on that one real quick but uh but yeah and then i'll once i got it all cleaned up and stuff i pretty much have everything off well, let's see here. I'll replace the trim on this side with the replacement that I got. And I can put the fuel tank back on because I don't really need the fuel tank off for anything else because it's pretty much all handlebars, uh, foot pegs, and that's pretty much it. So that's my goal. I'm try and knock that bad boy out and see what happens. All right, so I've got it uh, step one of two to get it prepped for washing. I've put all the connectors uh, hoses inside of snack bags and zip tied them. Um, taped up this guy pretty good. I'll just, he's just a uh, forget, he's the start. I'll blow it out with the air compressor, but uh, I ran out of baggies. So now what I'm gonna do is get my hair dryer, handy dandy hair dryer, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the red tags. Which I see there's one there, I forgot. The rest of them were, oh, one here, one there, one there. Actually, I'll just get rid of that guy. Uh, down there, um, just to get all the residue off. Uh, yeah, a little sticky. So I'll get the hair dryer out and get that a goopy goop all soft, and then I'll take those off. 
And then we'll take it outside and get it ready for the Vashi Vashi. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I might have cut off a little bit, so uh, I'm gonna start drying it off. I got myself a, uh, what is this, six millimeter Allen. Take this off. Actually, you know what I probably should do? I probably should take off, uh, let's see here. I should probably take this off first. Yep, let me take that off first. Take that out with my, make sure you put a finger behind these bad boys. They will freaking jump and fly. <laughs> Yeah, things jacked up. Oh, there's a bearing, there's a ball bearing there. You gotta be careful of that guy. So, let's put that in the bag. Down here, keeping the rubber grip. Is that still good? But yeah, this is, uh, this one's seen better days, unfortunately. Yeah. 
I'm gonna keep the plugs because uh, there's two plugs in there and you gotta buy those too. I don't know if it comes with it or not, but I'm gonna take these plugs out. Come on. That way water doesn't get inside and rust that thing out. So here's a plug. There's some rust on it, it looks like. Oh yeah, some rust just fell out. So I guess that these things aren't super water tight because there's water in there, which is weird to me if they had these plugs in there from the factory because it doesn't work that well. All right, so I'm gonna bag and tag that and move on to this guy. There is tension on it, so just be careful when you're pulling it off. I don't know if it's gonna jump out at me. Nope, I just push it in, hold the spring. This is how it goes. There's a little perch down here, so when you put it back in, you gotta make sure. I'm gonna grease the new one up. This one's jacked. But uh, yeah, you grease it up, put the pin back in. You gotta kind of put some, if you're looking at it this way, you have to kind of go like that because the way the, the spring is, it's pushing kind of to the left. So, that's yeah, looking good. Ah, pin's bent. Whoops. Where are you at? Need a new pin. So, add to the parts list over here. The other pin was fine. I'll take the spring, because I don't know what comes with. Uh, take the spring out. Put that in the bag, too. This goes in the junk box. So I was gonna show you guys, I think I might've mentioned it, but when I was going through this thing, I found the grip heater. And I was like, that's quite interesting. These are grip heaters. And there's term they're terminated plugs right here. So if you bought the kit, you could actually, oh, this one fell down. If you bought the kit, you could actually uh, have some heated grips. You probably can't hear me that good, but uh, but uh, but uh, thank you so much for staying with me here in this series. It's the third video of the multi video series Rebuilding a Wrecked Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled. And so, uh, before you guys move on to the next channel, the next video you want to watch on your feed, if you would like this video, I would appreciate it, it would definitely help out the channel. If you would also subscribe and Hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload more videos. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> and so the stats for this video is it took about an hour and 37 minutes of raw footage, five hours to edit all that raw footage. Now keep in mind, it does not include all the time it took to set up, you know, parts table, tools, moving the camera around, other stuff, right? There, there's a little bit extra in there, but we're getting better. Um, I'm learning a little bit more on the, on the editing software, so that's cool. And hopefully this is gonna be somewhere right around 20 minutes. So again, thanks for hanging out. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for part four. See you soon.